Hi everybody, welcome back to Talking Comics. This is Bobby. And this is Cynthia. Hello. And <laughs> were those your Black Widow moves yes, that you Black were practicing right now? How coincidental because we are reviewing Black Widow number one this week. Marvel Now, Point Now, all new. <laughs> and it's written by Nathan Edmondson and drawn by Phil Noto. If you are not familiar with Phil Noto's work, to hop on a Tumblr or Divot or just anywhere that has search engines and look up Phil Noto's art because it is fantastic. Especially in Black Widow, there's so much action in Black Widow. Like she's yeah. kicking around, doing all these like cartwheel kicks and without being too yeah. comically over like overdone, it feels very yeah, realistic. With all but the awkward angles. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the really inappropriate angles. She he totally shies away from that and just mm -hmm. makes like nope, she's there. She's got a job to do, and it's all done in watercolor. Like I've seen his, his comic work before when it's like kind of classically drawn in, yeah. but I've seen some of like, he does these watercolor pieces and that's what the comic kind of has. Yeah, like this style. Sort of, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's this very stylistic look and I'm really surprised that they did it in a comic book, but they did it and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty much starts off with your typical Black Widow story. She's uh, kicking butt, being super smart and being the awesome super spy that she is. But you don't know and, that it's her because exactly. she's lying about who she Hiya! is. So it's, it's very awesome stuff, and um, it gives her some good characterization because the Black Widow can be an easy one-note character to kind of write off. It's like, oh, she's the super spy. She knows everything. Yeah, she's, she's emotionless, gonna... like Russian. Yeah, she's going to be the person to get the job done mm -hmm. and not say much about it. Meanwhile, like Thor and Captain America and Wolf, they're all going to have like this witty banter, mm -hmm. and Black Widow's just sort of going to be there in the background, you know? But fortunately, the comic gives her a lot of... Uh, a lot of personality without really overdoing it. And yeah. I think that goes to Nathan Edmondson's writing. Yeah, and I've, mm -hmm. I've known the Black Widow character for a long time, and this book felt really new, really fresh, and even the pieces about her history were very different. I was kind of like, oh, I never thought that she would try to go for this. And I mean, I, I know that from the past she's been a villain before, like one of her first appearances was, she actually fought Hawkeye. Yeah. Like, but that was back when she wore like a black veil over her face and like a dress. <laughs> And it's like now she's Tons wearing of like a change and yeah. bullet bracelets. <laughs> and now she's wearing a jumpsuit and got bullet bracelets. Bullet, bullet, bracelets. Bullet, bullet bracelets. They're called the widow. I call them bullet bracelets. Not bullet bracelets. But they go like. She's called the black they widow, go, not the black bullet. They have the sound effects like bullets though. Right? No, they don't. They, they they have stink. I don't know what the sound effects are, but they're called. <laughs> I pay attention to they're, that. They're called it's the important. widow stink. You gotta love her because mm -hmm. I mean she's an Avenger. She's an assassin. I mean the spy intrigue alone is amazing. You know mm -hmm. you kind of get the feeling that this kind of stuff happens all the time when the Avengers aren't around, and that's what makes it really cool. It's yeah. like when she's not fighting in Infinity, she's doing this. Yeah, I, I really like um like the Black Widow Hawkeye stories where it's more humanized. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of like a Tony Stark or even <laughs> Captain America. Like Tony Stark has like millions of dollars and he's living this crazy lifestyle. And then there's like Captain America that's like super soldier. And then you see like Black Widow and Hawkeye and their stories. They're just like <laughs> really regular people, but yeah. they, they're part of the Avenger life. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that, that was my favorite part. It's mm -hmm. like, what? The Black Widow has an apartment? She has a She's cat. She's just like me. No, she doesn't have a cat. Don't don't make that mistake. Well, she 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 has a cat. It's her cat, but she doesn't want to accept that it's her cat. <laughs> it, I adopt all straight cats in my apartment complex. They're all mine. I don't care. <laughs> that's why Cynthia felt the connection to Black Widow that she did. Plus, Crazy cat lady. So it's an awesome start to a fantastic <laughs> series. I mean, I, I, I wish I could speak more of the praises of it, but I mean, you just got to read it to find out about it. I mean, just for the for art sure. alone, it's glorious. Yeah. So um, Black Widow, number one, check it yes, out. It's definitely good stuff. approve. Mm -hmm. I give it, uh, if I were to give it a rating, I would give it a thousand Black Widow <laughs> sting bites <laughs> to, the, to the neck. That's powerful. That's that, a good rating. Yeah, that's, that's the intensity oh my of my rating. A thousand Black Widow bites. Is what Terrifying. I rate this comic. I so. give it a million thumbs up. A million that. thumbs up? Can you imagine a million thumbs on your arm? Gross! And now it's in your mind forever. Yeah. It's awful. It's awful. So <laughs> check it out. So that's it, guys. Be sure to follow us on Facebook at Heroes and Villains Tucson. And on our Twitter and Tumblr under HMV Comics. HMV Comics, yep. Yeah. Later, guys. Bye.